The boy's a natural. I've never seen anything like it. Was that your first time on a broomstick, Potter? Harry becomes Gryffinder's new seeker. Broomstick P.S. Harry receives a Nimbus 2000, a gift from Professor McGonagall. Over breakfast the next morning, Harry and Ron were discussing what Fluffy could be guarding when the mail arrived. Harry, who had received no mail apart from Hagrid's letter, was intrigued as everyone else by the long, oddly shaped package in the mail that morning. And was even more surprised than the others when he discovered what was inside. An Nimbus 2000, and with a note from Professor McGonagall warning him not to open the package at the table and that he was to meet Wood that night for Quidditch practice. Taking the broom up to their dormitory. Harry and Ron were stopped by Malfoy, who seized the package and told Harry that first-year students are not allowed their own brooms. When Professor Flitwick walked up to them, he tried to report Harry, but Flitwick, who had been told of Harry's special permission, just expressed admiration for Harry's talent. Hallow and but from that moment on, Hermione Granger became their friend. There are some things you can't share without ending up liking each other, and knocking out a 12-foot mountain troll is one of them. Harry and Ron form a friendship with Hermione. Harry Potter won Harry Seamus charm lesson. A Halloween lesson on the levitation charm. On Halloween. Professor Flitwick began teaching his students how to perform the levitation charm. Only Hermione succeeded. Ron, offended by her air of superiority, later made a nasty comment that she overheard. The comment was about her lack of friends causing her to run off to lock herself in the girl's bathroom in tears and making him and Harry feel slightly guilty. When the two went down to the Halloween feast later, their guilt was forgotten amidst the splendor of the decorations. Partway into the feast, Quirrell arrived to announce that there was a 12-foot mountain troll in the dungeons before fainting where he stood. The prefect led the students back to their dorms, but Harry realized that Hermione did not know about the troll and convinced Ron to help save her, since they were responsible. They snuck off to the girl's bathroom to warn Hermione, locking the troll inside. However, they didn't realize their mistake until they heard Hermione's terrified screaming manage from the bathroom. A horrified Harry and Ron ran back into the bathroom to rescue her.
After a brief skirmish, during which Harry stuck his wand up the troll's nose. Ron finally knocked the troll out, by levitating the troll's own club to smash into his head. B1C 10 M3 troll in first floor girls' toilets. The mountain troll in the bathroom, where Hermione is hiding. The teachers arrived, attracted by the troll's yells, to find Harry, Ron, and Hermione covered in dust, and the bathroom in disarray. Professor McGonagall, head of Griefinder, began scolding the boys for not going straight to their dormitories with the rest of their house, but instead putting themselves in grave danger. Much to Harry and Ron's surprise, Hermione lied to McGonagall and told her that she had gone looking for the troll, as she thought she could handle them. She claimed that Harry and Ron were looking for her, which was true, and she would most likely be dead if the boys had failed to rescue her. Also true. The three bonded over the shared experience, and were friends thereafter. Quidditch Harry, I've got the snitch. Marcus Flint, he didn't catch it, he nearly swallowed it. Harry catches the golden snitch with his mouth. As the Quidditch season began Harry became increasingly nervous. The first match of the season was against Slytherin. Harry was under increasing pressure to show that he was not just a famous name. In an attempt to calm his nerves, Harry borrowed a book entitled Quidditch Through the Ages. A book that was comprehensive history of the sport, that Hermione most have checked put from the library. During break the day before the match, Harry, Ron, and Hermione were huddled together around a jar of flames, which had been conjured by Hermione, to keep warm. Harry Potter 1 Snape Limp Harry notices the blood on Snape's robes and a slight limp when he walks. Snape noticed their guilty faces and looking for a reason to punish them, confiscated Harry's book on the feeble pretext that library books were not be taken outside. Harry noticed that Snape was limping, as though his leg was injured, strengthening his suspicions that the potion's master was after whatever it was that Fluffy was guarding. Nervous about the next day's match, Harry decided to ask Snape for the book back. Realizing that he would most likely be in the staff room and that it would be harder for Snape to bully him if there were other teachers around, Harry decided to confront him. Approaching the door, Harry overheard Snape complaining to Filch about Fluffy.